crowd goes quiet looking and waiting for action here at the Zagreb Arena for FFC 8 we've been all over Croatia this year in fact we started way back last year as well in Zagreb and we're back here in Zagreb two shows Zagreb we've been to Split we've been Zadar we've been to Osek we've been Porek beautiful parts of Croatia but what is actually beautiful now is for the man on top because he is throwing the leather and what little leather you've got with those gloves by the way if anyone is just curious as to what you're being hit with let me tell you four ounces of very thin leather it's like being hit with a brick I was uh, told by one guy once they're very solid gloves if you ever get your hands in a pair of these mixed martial arts gloves very little padding whatsoever nothing over the fingers and thumbs just covering the knuckles and the back of the fist that is it we'll have a thin hand wrap underneath there and that is it so when you are being struck by one of these you know you've been hit it inflicts a lot of damage and everything else is exposed the elbows the knees the shins the feet and obviously you've got the whole wrestling jiu-jitsu and everything else that goes with the groundwork the clinch work the jiu-jitsu all of those are an art form within themselves hence why the term comes mixed martial arts because they're all different martial arts rolled into one and everything goes and that's what you're seeing here in the second of our main events Action. So one and a half minutes remaining and Zlatko there the referee telling the fighters to work he won't give them a minute the minute they start to slack off he will either break them and stand them up or make them carry on working and it's those right hands that are pounding away from the Argentinian Francisco Barrio bombards him with those right hands half of the course for the first round and he's doing exactly the same thing in the second and he's holding the position inside the guard and the mount, full mount Stop. The referee will call time bring them back into the center Exactly the same position, and off they go again. For one minute roughly remaining. Less than a minute remaining in this second round. What you could almost dub as being one sided, but Darko Vanovic has been fighting back. He has been trying, but he's been putting on his back in both rounds, and he's found it pretty difficult to get out of that position where he's been withheld and he's struggling for escape 10 seconds remaining now and will we see a different game plan in round three because to me Francisco Barrio has won the first two rounds convincingly and Darko Banovic goes back Looking the worst for wear in round two. But Francisco looking unscathed. Looking reasonably relaxed, and here we see some of the action from that. There's the takedown, and then it's just basically for the next two minutes in this position. Darko took it. Darko Vanovic taking some big shots, but yet showing his true grit and a tough chin to boot with this one because all those strikes some lesser of man would have gone or given up or maybe even been knocked out you can see there read the body language of these two fighters nice and relaxed sits back sips his water clean as a whistle Darko there looking very red around the face marked up looking tired from the onslaught
Well, the referee Zlatko calls the fighter to come out for round three. Three five minute rounds, as we said, scheduled for. Are we going to see anything different from the man in the blue corner? Darko Banovic, he needs to pull something out in this third round. Big right hand goes for that takedown again, but he's managed to nullify it this time. Sliding back into his opponent's corner. But down he goes. Back into the same position again. Time goes off. So it would help. Open guy. On the stopwatch. By the reposition. Open. Fight. And here we go. Is this going to be just a repeat of round one and two? Not too exciting about, but you know you can't have every single fight you know one bam and a thank you man you're going to have some fights okay which are going to cancel each other out this is what happens styles make fights ladies and gentlemen and these two okay are pretty well suited but as we've seen from the previous two rounds francisco barrio the argentinian has just been playing his game keeping to the format and just working in succession with right hands one two one two one two might look boring, but it's working. And easy said for me because I'm not taking the punches. I'm ugly enough. So is this going to play out just the same way as the previous two rounds? Is it going to be the right hands and in the, the mount position on top? Full guard because Darko Panovic needs to pull something out of the bag. And right now, it just seems like he hasn't found anything that's going to work for him. And it just looks like he's mostly surviving and defending, which is not going to win a fight, as everybody knows in the fight world, whether it's boxing, kickboxing, K1, Glory, FFC, Muay Thai, Thai boxing, kickboxing, you name it. Defending is not going to win you a fight. It's all about the attack. This is how it works in this game. Those who hit and hurt the most usually come out on top. It is a full contact sport at the end of the day and that is what these guys are trying to do. Inflict as much as possible on their opponent. No friends in the ring. You see these guys afterwards having a drink with each other, sat in the crowd together, talking away, having photographs. The sport brings some great, great sportsmanship together. But once the bell has gone, as they say, there is no love lost. Blood will be spilt. Tempers might flare. Aggression, anger thrown away, replaced with aggression where it can be technique spirit fighting spirit and everything else goes into these matches some of these guys have trained relentlessly some of them six weeks eight weeks ten weeks preparation and training camps for these fights so one and a half minutes remaining again slap go glad it will bring them into the middle reposition them but it's just going to be the same same old same old like i said it might make it a little bit boring for those people Okay, watching this fight, and I say that re that term respectfully, as boring fighting is not, but it's just been a quite a repetitive match between these two. So the right hand rem just keeps pummeling away from the same position who is with help all the way through this fight. Three rounds of the pretty much the same position. Nothing has changed. It's been very frustrating for Darko Bonovic. He's just not been able to get away from that hold and position. And it's going to obviously play a big part in the winner and runner-up in this match. I don't like to use the term loser. No losers in this game. Anyone who gets in that ring. 
Action! So 40 seconds remaining, took one big punch in the eye there. He blinks. So closing seconds now, 15 seconds remaining. Nothing's going to happen really now from Darko, he's left it way too late. Just been a frustrating time for Darko. Francisco Barrio to me just had that all the way. And taking nothing away from him, he just played his game. He flies the Croatian flag tattoo on his back. Argentinian born, but looks like Croatian bred. Well, to me, unless the judges were sat facing the wrong way, I think there's only one winner here. And it's the man in the red corner who goes over to the man in the blue. You can see the body language. That tells you the winner and the runner-up, very convincingly. Some of the action here. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by points, unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Francisco Croata Barrio. Yeah, unanimous. Like I said, a foregone conclusion, but stranger things have happened, ladies and gentlemen. A frustrating time for Darko Banovic. Francisco Barrio just took him down, went in the same position into the guard position. Francisco. And did the business. For some time now, uh, people on Croatian MMA scene are talking about an Argentinian guy who lived in Croatia and who started successfully his MMA career. Now you're finally here and you won a new at the B. Oh, I Hambika je vrhunski trener. I Marko Joy i Lokomotivi. Ajmo Martinovka. Thank you Francisco. Francisco said that he didn't want to lose in his debut so he uh, was re relying on what he did better and it's wrestling and it led him uh, to another victory and he is thankful for the promoters that uh, bring him here to fight in Croatia for the first time. Final Fight Championship vraća se u Zagrebačku arenu s najjačom priredbom godine. U sudaru udarača i greplara sastav se Zelk Galešić i bivši UFC-ov prvak Rico Rodriguez. Ante Delija suočit će se s nizozemcem Dionom Staringom, dok će nasuprot mladenu Brestovcu stajati Ali Tornado Čenik. Petak, 25. listopada, Arena Zagreb, Final Fight Championship 8. Ulaznice u sustavu eventima.